capital. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen-only mode. There will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during this conference, please signal an operator by pressing star and then zero on your touchtone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Sahil Sangvi from Monarch Network Capital. Thank you and over to you, sir. Yeah, thank you, Darwin. So, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, on behalf of Luna Network Capital, we welcome you all for the Ratnamani 2QFI24 earnings call. Uh, we are delighted to host the management of Ratnamani Metals and Tubes today. And from their side, we have Mr. Prakash Sangvi, MD and Chairman, uh, Mr. Manoj Sangvi, who is the business head for the carbon steel segment, and also Mr. Vimal Kata, uh, their chief financial officer. So, without taking much time, I'll hand over the call to Mr. Manoj Sangvi for the opening remarks. Thank you, and over to you, Manoj, sir. Yes, uh, thank you, Sahil. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon to everyone. I welcome you all to this call and hope everyone is doing good. Our results for the second quarter of FY24 have been uploaded on the exchanges, and I believe all of you had the chance to go through it. Uh, just to give you a brief, uh, our standalone Q2 revenues are 1084 crores with EBITDA of 252 crores and the net profit of 169 crores. Our quarterly revenue has increased 19.9% year-on-year and down margin marginally by 3.3% on sequential basis, mainly attributa attributable to softer steel prices. EBITDA has increased from 155 crores to 253-odd crores on year-on-year -year basis, registering growth of 63%, and sequentially, it has increased by 22%. Due to favorable product mix and few special jobs, our EBITDA margin has also expanded by 6% on year-on-year -year basis and 4.8% on sequential basis. On the half-year basis, our revenues witnessed 16% growth to 2,204 2, crores and EBITDA of rupees 460 crores as compared to 294 crores in H1 FY23. For H1 FY24, our net profit is 305 crores compared to 185 crores in FY23. During the quarter, in spite of inflationary pressures felt on operating cost, we have been able to improve our profit margin due to better product mix However, as we move forward in FY24, we may see some line pipes orders for oil and gas as well as water, and hence, we continue to expect our annualized EBITDA margins broadly in the range of 16 to 18% under normal business conditions as guided during our earlier calls. Orders on hand as on 1st October is rupees 2,979 crores. To add a new growth driver both domestically and globally. Our company has forayed into pipes, pooling, and auxiliary products business through a joint venture with Techno Energy Switzerland. A group based out of Switzerland having more than 100 plus years of experience in manufacturing of pipes, pools, hangers, support systems, and other auxiliary products. As informed through the exchanges, RMTL have 51% in this JV and 49% is with Techno Energy. The JV company will cater to oil and gas, thermal and nuclear power plants, and other allied industries, which will open new avenues for our company. And in future, we expect to see good traction in core energy segments and other critical applications in various industrial segments. This will also help us deepen our customer base by expanding the product basket. We expect this entity to start commercial operation in next three to six months. That's all from our side. Now I would like to invite questions from the participants. Thank you. Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on their touchtone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. The first question is from the line of Ashutosh Tiwari from Equitus Securities. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi. Uh, Congress is a good set, um, set of numbers. Uh, firstly, uh, on the export side, I think uh, when we had basically uh, commissioning this extrusion uh, facility, the one of the aspects was that they wanted to go into higher diameter and more validated products uh, which can be supplied export market. So where are we in that journey? Uh, I mean, uh, uh, obviously our export order book has been increasing over last one year to this perspective. So just can you give some uh, color on that? So uh, currently uh, the extrusion what was installed uh, last year, the ramping up of capacity and approvals is going on. It's an ongoing process. Uh, so yes, uh, uh, we are seeing more and more traction, uh, both domestically and exports. And going forward, as we have more approvals, the utilization levels will be much better. So for for trial purposes, we have uh, tested all the size, the complete size range up to 10 inches, and all grades uh, we have tested, and successfully all the trials are uh, successful. Yeah, and and few commercial export orders also we have executed for various grades. Okay, so that means that uh, going ahead, I think on the export side uh, we would definitely see more uh, orders coming uh, like when when all these products get commercialized, basically. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, as informed earlier, we are seeing a good amount of traction for special grades also. Okay, okay. Special, special grade means uh, the uh, like more nickel uh, little grades or uh, these are uh, in terms of application they are there. Related to stainless steel only, but uh, high alloy grade. High alloy grade. Okay, okay. So and and these would be uh, a comparatively better margin than earlier grade that you're making. Yes, margins would definitely be better, but quantums would not be as the uh, the right. normal grade. Okay, okay, but yeah, I mean, indirectly, I think uh, the the margin profile or the valuation profile should improve for us in SS segment. Uh, yes, overall, uh, the SSCS uh, our aim is to improve the margins wherever possible. And the, for this particular uh, stainless steel, where where you are doing high grades, of course, the margin is. Uh, going to be high okay um, and I, uh, I remember that uh, even in the ELSO segment we had got an approval from Saudi Aramco earlier right so yes. so so even ELSO segment which was mainly catering to uh, maybe domestic market earlier more value added products they're also with this new mill I think uh, we are now venturing into more product <laughs> So, uh, for ELSO, Saudi Aramco, we have got the approval. However, mm -hmm. we have not yet executed any orders for them. Okay. So going forward, yes, we are going to receive uh, orders uh, from them. So, it might uh, help us in future. Okay. 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 And, uh, but domestic side, we have got approvals for very, everyone for ELSO plant. Sorry? Uh, on the domestic side, uh, domestic customer base, uh, we have received approvals. From... Yes, yes, we received approvals from almost everyone now. Okay, uh, and and uh, in terms of uh, uh, the current order book that we have around 2900 crores, you mentioned, uh, what proportion would you get from water related orders? Water, rough, I can say about 30 percent. 30 percent of this 2900 crores. Close to 30% would be uh, water related. Okay. This number is lower uh, a year back, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, and is, is the water order margins materially different from oil and gas related orders or 
is is also there's some erudition over here also so uh, in in a normal course uh, the margins for water segment are less than oil and gas okay but some orders uh, uh, better margins if uh, like we like we are executing one order in rajasthan where we are we have moved the whole setup uh, at site So okay. The margins are a little bit better than the uh, 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 normal course order. Okay. 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 And generally, uh, lastly, how is the uh, I mean the uh, uh, the orders that we're waiting for? How is that pipeline looking like? Uh, is is basically new order uh, the temperature coming up are lower now or still we see buoyancy in the new projects coming up? so if i break it uh, between carbon steel and stainless steel carbon yeah. steel for oil and gas we are seeing less number of uh, tenders uh, coming up but water okay. demand is booming so that segment uh, is going to remain for next 6 months to 9 months that segment uh, we will have a good amount of orders okay and stainless steel uh, regularly uh, our strike rate remains uh, still the same uh close to between 100 uh, to 150 crores order booking per month okay so there is a issue okay okay which is pretty good okay okay i think that would be all from side thank you <coughs> thank you thank you the next question is from the line of yash goenka from orega capital advisors please go ahead hi am i audible sir yes Okay. Uh, so sorry to interrupt. Please, the line for you is not very clear. I request you to please use the handset while you're speaking. Is it better? Yes, this is much better. So please go ahead. Okay. So there are talks of setting up a stainless steel plant for backward integration with higher water business, which has lower margin, higher capital. What shall be the ROC for the company? And what ROC level does the company intend to operate at? I missed the first part of the question. So, the talks of you setting up a stainless steel plant. Stainless steel so steel plant. Yeah. Okay. And with you having a higher proportion of sales to water pipe businesses, which has lower margin, higher working capital requirement. So, what does it get to a uh, the roc and what it shall be going forward and what does the company intend to operate at she at a company level because we are expanding both in stainless steel and carbon steel right so at a company level and some products would go to water some for oil and gas some for other segments so at a broadly at a company level between 25 to 30% is what we aim for okay Okay. Thank you. Yeah. The next question is from the line of Vikas Singh from Philip Capital. Please go ahead. Good afternoon, sir, and congratulations on very good set of numbers. Sir, I just wanted to understand about your guidance. You have always been conservative at 16 to 18 percent kind of the EBITDA margin. given that the first half was pretty good so would you like to revise it and how do you see this go uh, in the fi 25 because uh, we will cut this side uh, see basic, basically as we have been talking ki the 16 to 18% range is for the longer term sustainable range okay based on the product mix and everything uh, in a particular reporting period it may be quarter half year or a year it may move towards more positive towards 18% or in case of adverse market situation it, it may move towards 16% sort of thing so plus minus 1% we have been talking this year entire year we should be in that 17 18% range uh, sort of thing uh, this is our expectations going forward as manoj ji has already said a few more orders in water segments are expected and blended we should be nearer to that range only uh positive surprises are possible uh, we'll uh, definitely try our best but uh, uh, to be practical that uh, 17 18% range should be there yeah and that's it sir so my second question pertains to the market and the order book 
in fourth you you were talking about the market being a little bit dull but we have seen a very good order book addition so how sh- we should read this situation or what is the you know bid pipeline going forward if you could give us some insight the as uh, stated previously we are seeing good demand for the water pipes in the carbon steel segment mm-hmm. and uh, stainless steel also our order book uh, remains uh, strong we are almost booking close to 125 to 150 crores every month and uh, carbon steel one big order in water segment or oil and gas segment can change the order book uh, although oil and gas seems to be dull at the moment but uh, still uh, there are uh, good good amount of water projects in gujarat itself yeah and a few export projects also we are bidding so and this so is this uh, possible for us to further improve our export uh, percentage in order yes. book we are currently at 20% yes yes so right what now, is the peak level you are expecting because uh, from other companies perspective what i learned that the export market is pretty good at this point of time yeah right now for oil and gas uh, export market especially in middle east is very good so uh, we are also hoping to receive uh, and we, we are already receiving some orders and we are hopeful that we will going forward also we are going to receive a uh, few more understood sir so just one question on ravi technofort we were due to buy some more stake uh, depending on some milestone given the performance doesn't seems to be improving at this point of time mm. uh, what happens to the valuation part or this or is or there would be a delay in the buying the remaining stake or will it be valued at a much lower price depending on the milestone so just want some clarity in case if we don't reach the milestone then what happens so uh, second tranche is uh, a fixed uh, buyout at a multiple of uh, uh, ebitda so which is uh, at the end of uh, fy24 result understood sir understood that's all from my side sir. thank you and best for, all the best for future thank you thank you the next question is from the line of manish oswal from nirmal bank securities please go ahead yes yes sir thank you for the opportunity uh, thank you i have i have only one question on the, the geopolitics uh, uh, things happening in the middle east so how you assess the interrupt manish i think you are a little too close to the mic okay am i bet uh, now it is better this is like yeah. yes yeah so my question on the middle east uh, geopolitical crisis uh, so how you seeing the uh, demand situation developing for our uh, products in the export market no see in middle east uh, especially everybody is expanding be it uh, saudi arabia be it uh, abu dhabi be it qatar so these markets uh, in spite of uh, geopolitical situations are going very strong okay. uh, europe at the moment is a little slow and us also a little slow but uh, still for stainless steel tubes and pipes we are finding good demand from there okay, okay sir thank you thank you yeah. thank you ladies and gentlemen to ask a question you may please press star and 1 The next question is from the line of Noel Vaz from Union Asset Management. Please go ahead. Yes, just, uh, yeah, I just wanted to just uh, confirm one thing. Uh, if we're looking at the overall growth prospects of the company, how should we look at it, and what is the current utilization? Thank you. On an average. Uh, uh, see uh, this year we would be anywhere between 4500 to 5000 crores so on an average uh, 10 to 15% uh, growth can be expected and in terms of current utilization levels where are we at right now so current utilization for different segment it is a different percentage but uh, on an average you can consider 60% utilization Okay then. Ah, thanks so much. That's all from my side. Thank you. 
We have the next question from the line of Dheeraj Dave from Samwad Financial Services. Please go ahead. Thank you for providing me opportunity and congratulations on good set of number. My one question is more on about basically this uh, Ravi Techno for uh, mm-hmm. what is the kind of expected uh, ROC or return which we expect and uh, what is the management thought process because we see we are getting into related lines to acquisition or uh, promoting subsidiary or acquisition of JV. So how should, rather than specifically to a quarter, how do you see your things get shipped out in next three to five years? And what would be kind of capex? And what is typical your thought process, if you can give us some color on that? So uh, uh, this particular uh, product, uh, which goes to the bearing industry, our, our idea is to scale up from here. And uh, in next two to three years, we want to do 500 plus crores uh, of uh, bearing rings and other auto products, which is from the forging industry. And uh, we have already we are, we are investing from from the Ravi Technology uh, balance sheet only. Okay. So except for the initial investment, what Ratnamani did, everything is being managed from RTL's cash flow. Okay. Yeah, and uh, basically, what would be kind of capex we should be looking at? Since we are all, uh, as you suggested, approximately right 60, 60. now, uh, ongoing capex is uh, between forty to fifty crores. This would be for Ravi Techno Forge. Yes, and uh, for Ratnamani as a group total, basically we are also talking of that is JV. So we would be setting up a new capacity is it a trading is close to 250 to 300 crores where we have two major projects one for carbon steel one for stainless steel which are ongoing okay and uh, when this project will get over this is the normal capacity by june of 2024 and uh, carbon steel uh, where we are setting up a new plant by september of 2024 september 24 Okay. And uh, basically, uh, uh, any thought on capital allocation since this year particularly, we may see at least whatever six months and fingers crossed if the same thing happens. What is your plan for uh, capital allocation or distribution of cash? Yep. Uh, can, can you repeat it, please? Capital so basically, what would be our dividend distribution? Would we ex- should we expect some improvement in dividend payout for a year, or we like to manage the uh, stable? See, see, basically, at uh, gross level, it is closer to 20% of profit. That should continue because company has a lot of growth uh, plans. Because uh, we are not going to rest uh, with the existing capacities, we should be in a position to reach closer to 6,000 crores, and we have to look beyond that. So uh, uh, there are uh, team is working on various growth opportunities, and at appropriate time we will be sharing those details details also. So part of uh, capex and incremental working capital requirements will will be uh, met from internal accruals only. So uh, one can look forward to closer to 20% uh, of profit uh, being distributed. Yeah. Fair enough. Thanks a lot, and wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Radha from BNK Securities. Please go ahead. Hi, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, many congratulations and good results, and thank you for the opportunity. So, my first question was uh, in first half, uh, what was the total uh, mix from water segment? Uh, 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 very difficult to give you precise number, uh, but we can. I can uh, work on that and then get back to you. One second. Okay, sir. Yeah. Hundred forty-two. Hundred forty-two plus. Yeah, sir. So between hundred and fifty to two hundred crores. Normally we don't share and uh, uh, value by uh, this figure of roughly 150-200 crores for the six months. 
Actually, why I asked that because you said thirty percent of order book from water segment. So just wanted to understand that in first half, based on the execution, whether it would be lower uh, than thirty percent. I know, no. So uh, of the order book, yeah, first half it has been lower. Of the order book, mm-hmm. we have thirty percent, but some of it is going to go uh, for the next financial year also. Okay. So secondly, uh, so LNT has won multiple orders with Saudi Aramco, and also some hydrocarbon projects with multiple Middle East companies. So yes. could you please elaborate on the business opportunity with LNT? Yeah, so two or three EPC contractors, uh, they have got uh, big jobs uh, in Aramco as well as uh, uh, in Adnok, which is Abu Dhabi uh, National Oil Company. So uh, most of it uh, ha- has just been awarded. So uh, the design part. Uh, so we will see inquiries coming from later part of this year or early next year. So, um, so uh, currently, um, out of the total order book, how much of the orders are from LNT? That the customer wise breakup we do not have, and uh, we will we would not like to share. Okay, sir. So thirdly, my third question was that uh, could you please uh, share some insights on this JV with Teag? Uh, how much uh, would you uh, expect to invest, and what kind of margins can be made? Uh, what would be the source of uh, capex funding the capex? If any, for this and margin, uh, margin profiles and ROC profiles. So uh, this company is uh, recently formed uh, uh, with uh, 51% being uh, RMTLs and 49% Techno Energy. The total investment plan is 40 to 50 crores in next six to 12 months. And uh, 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 so part of the capital what the money will bring in and another part will be brought in by the another partner and balance uh, we will have to see whether we will go for any debt or any other uh, instrument so for for us it would be 20 crores uh, yeah uh, 25 20, 20, 20 crores for us mm-hmm. okay so just uh, thirdly uh, do, have you done any bill discounting this quarter no, uh, no, no. See, see, in case, in respect of one of the orders being executed by Ratmani, uh, it is under RTA arrangement. So those invoices have been discounted and payment has been received by the company. And that is the reason the final cost has been a little higher. Yes, sir, um, I asked because the receivable days have come down. So on that basis, I had asked that you have done No, no it, it is there. So both things are, uh, if we look at the figures, the servers have, have mm-hmm. come down and there has been an increase in finance cost, which is related to uh, this discounted in respect of one of the orders. It is it is an arrangement un, under the order itself where interest cost uh, has been inbuilt in our pricing and okay. uh, documents are discounted by the customer itself under bill discounting facility. Suppliers bill discounting facility. Yeah. Okay, sir. Uh, so I wanted to understand, uh, will we continue with these kind of uh, 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 receivable days? Uh, see, uh, difficult to say because order to order based on the arrangement, uh, it will mm-hmm. be, uh, be, because it is in respect of one of the orders only. And because company has been cash surplus, usually we don't go for even eligible discounting because there is a negative carry. Whatever returns we get from our investment are much mm-hmm. lower than the discounting cost. So that is the reason. Ki on any reporting period, and one may see higher receivables also. But for this one order, Asha, could you quantify the uh, amount of the discounting that we have done in first half? See, that that will be uh, roughly 100, 140 PR sort of thing. Okay, sir. So, um, last question was in on the Ravi Techno Force front. So actually, there is a YOY degrowth in first half in Ravi Techno Force. So both in the revenue and EBITDA front. So previously, we had guided that we wanted to achieve 300 crores revenue in Ravi Techno Force. 
So, are we still on track with this uh, guidance or, the, or is there any revision? No, if we see with the corresponding last year, I mean, there is no degrowth, but there is no growth. Against 120 crores, we did uh, the sales of 124 crores. And EBITDA of 12.2 uh, against that, we did 12.6 crores. Yes, because the major reason here is the exports have shrunk and our share in the domestic industry has increased because of the current geopolitical situation. But going forward in the in the second half, things look uh, to be better. And from here on, uh, from the last year number, we see that there will be 10 to 15 percent of growth. But one more impact uh, has been there, that of uh, commodity prices coming down. Uh, compared to what they were last year. So, uh, some the impact of that thing is also there because uh, relations are directly linked to the commodity prices. Yeah, and if we see the production per se, then it has gone up by 6% in the first half. Why, why? First half, why, why versus first half versus 23? So, actually, sir, actually, uh, in previous call, uh, you mentioned that the revenue from every techno force was 240 crores and FI 23. And so that, and we have the 3Q, 4Q number, so that implies that uh, first half FI23 revenue must have been 136 crores. So basis that, there is a 10% degrowth. So you're saying volumes have grown up 6% YOY. So realizations would be down 16% YOY? Yes. Yes, you are understanding. So this is in, entirely due to commodity? Yes, yes. It's entirely due to commodity steel price, which has gone down. Plus some impact okay. of uh, uh, deep growth in export, export. as, as uh, Manojji has already shared. And it is mainly mm -hmm. because of geopolitical issues, uh, whatever is happening in Europe, that has impacted mm -hmm. demand from European gearing manufacturers. So by when do we expect to go back to uh, FI22 margin levels in uh, Ravi Technical, the 13 14 percent EBITDA margin that we had done? We will be close to that uh, by the end of this year. By 4Q FI24? Yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Vinamra Hirawat from JM Financial. Please go ahead. Hi, firstly, congrats on a good set of numbers. Um, my question was, you know, many steel players now are heading into steel pipes and other downstream products. So what are differentiating factors for uh, Ratnamani? Mm, yeah. Yes, uh, see, uh, a lot of players are investing in the manufacturing of stainless steel as well as the carbon steel pipes. But uh, the kind of approval, the kind of range, uh, the kind of facilities, what we have, uh, it will take uh, time for them to create and catch up. So that is, uh, that is, and the, the number of approvals, what we have, is also uh, very wide. Uh, the, so, the geography, what we have covered. Well, what do you mean by number of approvals, sorry? Number of approvals from the oil and gas uh, companies, oh, chemical yeah. companies, nuclear power plants, uh, uh, and uh, uh, defense, aerospace. So those approvals, uh, those are all six months, 12 months, two years process. Uh, okay. And uh, the kind of capital investment required to have uh, maybe uh, capacities like uh, capacities and uh, range like us. Uh, at this point, I in one go, uh, would not justify it. Mm, makes sense. Okay. Uh, Vinamra, does that answer your question? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Participants who wish to ask questions may please press star and one. The next question is from the line of Poojan Shah from PS Ventures. Please go ahead. Uh, uh, initially, I missed the order book uh, of R and the sector specific. So then, this give us the broad rating of the. Uh, then you the please sector. be a little loud. I am a little yeah. Yeah. Uh, am I audible now? Yeah. 
Yeah, so can you just provide me with the order book size and the sector wise order book because I missed the initial call. So, uh, our order book stands current, currently at 2,975 crores, of which uh, domestic is 2,370 crores and balance is export. Okay. Okay. And uh, sector wise, uh, oil and gas and sector wise uh, breakup, uh, we are not uh, giving any more. Okay. But major, major will be oil and gas. Uh, right now, also, you can take it almost 70% uh, should be oil and gas and uh, 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 related fields, uh, power sector and uh, continuous process industry. Roughly 30% might be from water application. Okay. So, so in the initial phases, as we have witnessed uh, from the last uh, few quarters, we have been witnessing the oil and gas has been booming, and as well as the water segment. So, are you seeing any upcoming new sectors has been getting into traction? Like we are getting new, newly into engaging into new sectors specific to that, or we are doing uh, the order book is growing on on already on the this uh, uh, no, the as of now. Sector. As of now, no new sectors have been added. Uh, but yes, within the sector, there there can be plus and minus. Water, of course, as I informed earlier, is uh, one area which is booming at the moment uh, in various states. So that is one area. Oil and gas is a little slow on the line pipes side, but on the process side, it is it is still okay. Okay, got it. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, for the answer in the questions. All the best. Thank you. To ask a question, ladies and gentlemen, please press star and one. The next question is from the line of Radha from B and K Securities. Please go ahead. Sir, um, could you could you tell me the export sales mix uh, from uh, Ravi Techno Forge in first half? One second. Huh? Exports are thirty percent in first half. Uh, it was uh, and how much was it in first half? Twenty three. Thirty eight to forty percent. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, to ask a question, you may please press star and one. Yeah. We have no further questions. I would now like to hand the conference over to Mr. Kapil Sangvi for closing comments. Over to you, sir. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, I would just like to thank all the participants for attending uh, the earnings call and having patience of hearing me out. Uh, just thank uh, the management also uh, for answering all the questions efficiently. Manoj sir, would you like to give any closing comments? Yes, uh, Sahil. Uh, so we thank you all for particip participating in the earnings call and uh, hearing us patiently. Uh, I would also like to wish everyone a great uh, festival time ahead. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. On behalf of Monarch Network Capital, that concludes this conference. Thank you all for joining us. You may now disconnect your lines.